Today I'm going to show you a banking script created by Project Sloth. It has a nice UI with options for managing your bills and accounts, depositing and withdrawing money, transaction stats and history, ATM options, and more. I'll leave a link to the resource where you can check out all the features and download it. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. If you scroll down to the README, you'll see the dependencies, which are Oxlib and one of the frameworks. There's also an export you can use to create bills and pictures of the features. So I'll go ahead and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. And drag it over. And remove the stuff from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure it. After you've done that, hit file and save. The next step is to run the SQL. However you do, I left the link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. The next thing to look at is the config. So go back to the resource folder and open the config. The first thing in here is an option for LB phone. So if you're using that, change it from false to true. Next is your target system. If you don't use QB target, change it to what you use. There are some examples in the commented out text. Then you have the language and currency options followed by the bank locations and the blip. The last sections involve ATMs. With the preset amounts, when you go to the ATM, the amounts will be displayed and you can choose to withdraw or deposit these amounts or enter your desired amount. The next section is for the animation and the last section is for the models. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. And the last thing to do is delete QB banking or any other banking script you're using before. Go back to the resources and into the QB folder, wherever your banking script is, and delete it. Then you can start your server and test it out. So I'm in the server now and I'll start with the ATMs. So I'll go ahead and access it. Once you access it, at the top it shows your cash and bank balances. It's also shown at the bottom where you can enter the custom amounts. So if I change this to $10, it'll change up here as well as the deposit amount. So I'll go ahead and submit it and it reflects in the balances. In the middle are the deposit and withdraw options. These are the preset ones that I mentioned before. So I'll go ahead and withdraw $2,000 and then I'll deposit $5,000 and it lets you know what happened and again reflects in the balances. I'm at a bank now, so I'll go ahead and access the menu. Starting with the overview page, at the top we have your balance and some quick actions. The first one is transferring money to other people. So you enter their ID and the amount you want to transfer, and obviously I can't transfer money to myself. Then you have the option to pay all of your bills. I don't have any, but you just confirm. And the last two options are to withdraw or deposit all of your money. For the bottom, you have a weekly summary of your income and expenses, and if you hover over the graph, it will reflect that as well. Then you have the latest transactions and unpaid invoices. If you go to all the transactions, you have the amount of transactions, the option to delete them, the option to search them, and then you have the individual transactions, which show the transaction number, the date, and so on. In the withdraw and deposit tabs, you have the option to enter an amount to withdraw or deposit. So I'll go ahead and do 10, and it lets you know it changed. It also reflects in the balance as well. In the stats tab, you have your total balance, the amount of transactions, and your income. There's also a graph that reflects that. In the accounts tab, you can manage your account, so I'll go ahead and create a new one and just call it test. Once created, it shows the amount, the account number, and the person. Over here are some additional options. You can copy the account number, edit the account name, so I'll call it savings, add people by putting their ID in, remove people, delete the account, deposit and withdraw. The last tab is the bills. Obviously I don't have any, so it's empty, but they would be displayed here. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.